Hello everybody, welcome back again. We are taking a look at the Hyaski Bluetooth wireless shower speaker. And I know we're playing all uh, everybody's favorite game. Luke mispronounced the name of a company here. I've never really heard them this pronounced. So I'm just going to guess that it said Hyaski. Now this is a Bluetooth speaker for your shower. It's meant to mount on a wall. You got Bluetooth or, um, speaker, FM radio built in supposedly, phone call ability, we'll talk about that. Nice suction cup here to stick. They say this will work in a shower or a bathtub or a pool. They even advertise it to be connected to the windshield of your car for cars that don't have Bluetooth capabilities. Uh, it's a pretty nice light little device here. I've been playing around with it for a while. Wanted to talk to you about my thoughts on it. A few things here, uh, if you're new, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. That really does help us because it lets YouTube know you enjoy what we do. And hopefully we can help you make a purchasing decision. Also, I will pull a link to this online where you can find it to read all the specs in the show notes down below and in the comments. Now, uh, I'm gonna go at, review this as somebody who bought it, took it home. What's my experience using it? So let's talk about that real quick. First of all, the actual device. Now it's pretty straightforward. It's gonna be very hard to read on this rubber here. You have a power, you have forward and backward for songs and increase, decrease volume. Play pause, you do have a phone one right here with a little microphone if you wanna answer a call in the pool, the shower, or probably really using that if you're using this in the car. Uh, it does have a nice suction cup on the back. If you lift up this little piece of plastic or rubber, there we go, there's the charger. Oop, let's not drop that. The charger is kind of unique, it is this proprietary headphone aux cable type cable. So on one side, a standard USB, plug it into your wall or any USB charging port, and you plug this other side into the device. Unfortunately, it doesn't use um, USB-C or even micro USB, like most of these type of devices, because that way if this cable would ever get lost or destroyed, you could keep using the device. Um, but it is pretty nice past that. Now, it advertises six hours of battery life and it takes about three hours to charge. Most similar products advertise up to 10 hours. This one says up to six. Are they being more honest than other comparable products in the same price range? Not really sure, to be honest with you, because I haven't tested other ones out. Um, let's turn this on real quick. Very nice, easy to use device here. One negative though, when I try to use the FM, watch it actually work this time. So I'm in the FM scan mode, nothing. Doesn't seem to pick up FM channels. There's no, you can't scan manually program, try to get to a particular FM frequency. It's supposed to just scan and you tell it to stop when you hit a channel you want it to play on. The downside here, no matter what I do, what binds I hit and more, just doesn't go there. I'm gonna hold this, turn that, there you go. Now I'm connected back to Bluetooth. Overall, it's nice. Uh, I didn't buy this for an FM radio, but it is kind of weird. It advertises FM radio, talks about it in the manual very briefly. It just says, um, uh, press to scan and save FM stations. And it says press to save the phone button to do that. So that's the only really instructions it has for the FM radio. I am not sure if I got a defective unit or if I'm the, uh, just not able to connect FM radio. I live in an area where FM radio is very easy to pick up. There's some very powerful FM radio stations close to me. So it's not like I'm way on the edge of FM and this may not be picking that up. The other thing I can't figure out on this, it shows a nice blue ring here. I kind of thought that would light up. It does not, which honestly I kind of like. Um, I kind of hate how everything has LEDs and lights flashing in your face. It does have a little one right here to show you it's powered. And when it's flashing, it's pairing. That's pretty much all I need to be honest with you. Uh, overall, I kind of like it. The sound quality is straightforward. Let me quickly, I don't want to accidentally um, launch anything. So let's go to Review Browse uh, Podcast real quick. And play this. If you don't know this podcast, you should check it out. But it's gonna take a quick moment for this to load up because I don't wanna do music because they're pretty hard. This is the voice of the report of the week signing on. Well, 
how, how much? So there it is at full volume. It's pretty full. Now, let me talk about the actual quality of the audio. This is no Bose Wave radio, folks. If you're looking for an extremely high quality radio, this is probably not what you're going to get. Of course, it costs less than 30 bucks. So keep that in mind. Um, it's not the best, but it actually has for a sub $30 speaker, that's Bluetooth, a decent range here. It's not perfect. It's nothing you're going to dance up and down about, but for listening to some music in the shower when you're dealing with the water um, noise already, this is pretty nice. So I'm going to give this two thumbs up. Not the best speaker, not the best battery life, but for under 30 bucks, it's pretty nice. Now, can I recommend this? Yes, if you think you're not going to be using this for hours. If you're somebody who's going to take an hour long shower regularly, this is probably not for you. If you're somebody who just wants something to listen to music for 15, 20 minutes a day, this is probably a pretty good one. This will get you a full week or more of charge while you're in the shower, which is pretty nice. Um, the flip side, one downside I will have though, is the suction cup. Putting this on the wall works fine, but to charge it, you have to pull the suction cup off the wall, take it over to this rather short cable and charge it there. Problem with that, suction cups wear out. If we continue to do that, we're very likely to find this no longer stick into the wall in the future. So maybe I should go with one thumbs up instead of two. First impressions are great. Um, I am disappointed the FM radio doesn't work on it. At least I am unable to make it work from the instructions. And I am a little disappointed with the battery life. I am very disappointed that they use a proprietary cable here that um, to charge them. There we go, come on, camera focus. Where I think a micro USB-C or, US, or a USB-C or micro USB would have been far superior. So overall, I would recommend it if you're looking for a budget shower speaker. If you have the money, there's probably some better ones out there, but not in this price range. So keep that in mind. All right, so if you're new here, do me a big favor, hit that thumbs up, Hit, hit the uh, like button. It really does help us because YouTube takes that consideration when recommending our videos. So I really do appreciate it. If you want to find this online and read all the specifications, you can do so. I'll put a link in the show notes. I'll try to put it in the first comment if YouTube isn't being weird about pinned comments again. And again, check out our channel for other reviews, other types of videos. I really do appreciate your support. Hope everybody has a fantastic week. We'll be back again real soon with another video.